Hey, what's going on everybody? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how I incorporate bands into my training. And the reason why I want to do this is because a while ago I made a video called The Best Tools for Implants and Front Lever, and that was of course bands. However, I've never actually showed how I incorporate bands into my routines when attempting skills and all that. So I wanted to show you guys that because I think it's going to be a valuable tool. In today's video, I'm going to be using bands to train the supinated grip planche. However, you can follow this routine for literally any skill that you want to do. And I I also wanted to make it in a vlog style format because there were some things regarding my training that I want to update you guys on. So stay tuned and enjoy the video fam. Okay guys, so first up is going to be just a band assisted hold, probably around three to five seconds. Going to be using this band here. If you guys are looking for a place to get bands, you can check out Calisthenics Pro. The link is in the description. You can use the code barcog 10 for a discount on not just bands, but on anything that they have in the store. And it also really helps support the channel, so I'd appreciate that. Uh, but yes, like I said, so I start with the warm up. I usually use a pretty heavy band, one that would probably be, if we're talking like on an RPE scale, honestly, probably RPE from like four to five. So not very hard, but it's just to kind of do it, warm up, hold it for a few seconds and really see how the day is gonna go. So let me start with this band here. So as you know, you put the band around your waist and you get into the planche that way. So yeah, here we go. One, two, three, Okay, everybody, step two of the warm up. I'm still working with the same band. You can do multiple sets of holds if you really feel like you need to. I personally don't feel like I need to do that today, so I'm just gonna move on to the next step of the warm up. And that is basically, I'm gonna replicate the combo that I wanna do for the day. I'm going to try uh, today, unassisted at least, is going to be a supinated uh, planche push up to uh, supinated grip Maltese. So, what I'm gonna do with the band right now is I'm gonna try to run that set just to see how it feels. So here we go. Okay guys, so I just did that set with a band and it felt really good. However, I'm still not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to do this combo today. So what I did was I simply grabbed a lighter band which obviously is going to be less assistance. And this is a band where if I can do it with this band, then I can do it with my body weight. So that's one really good thing about bands, especially like if you feel like you might get hurt doing something, like test it with a band and if it feels good with a light enough band, then that is a green light that it's probably gonna be fine with your body weight. So I'm doing this band to see if I'm feeling any pain in like my joints or anything like that. And if I'm, even strong enough to do this combo today. So let's go. White band, supinated grip planche push up to uh, supinated grip Maltese there. Even with the band, you still don't want to be giving full effort because you obviously want to save that for your body weight attempt. So like I said, guys, here we go. Uh, it's supinated grip planche push up and then supinated grip Maltese. Let's go. Okay guys, those are those sets. The push-ups, they were fine, definitely okay with me. Uh, not the best, but it is what it is. Supinated Maltese was pretty bad. I'm just out of practice. I basically, and this is kind of the update I was gonna give you guys. I've been dealing with some shoulder pain recently during skills and it's been getting better recently because as you guys can see, I have actually taken the rings down, not just because of the band, but because I want to take a break from the rings 
for my shoulder because the rings are the root cause of the shoulder pain and it's mainly cross which basically once the shoulder is completely 100% cross is just done for good I'm not going to do it anymore cross was basically a skill that anyone that knows me knows this is true that I literally never liked doing it and was only doing it to get like validation from other people and that is not something you should be doing I guess if that really motivates you sure but I'm always one to say just train skills that you genuinely like doing and don't train skills just to do them. So when I get back on rings, no more cross, it's done for good, I don't care, it hurts my shoulder. It literally, I, I started doing it because I thought it was gonna make my Maltese better also, but it just made my Maltese worse. I never liked it, I've said that 50 times already. Uh, but I will still be doing Victorian on rings and uh, VG, all, all those like planche pushing skills that I really do like. Uh, but yeah, cross just done. And I've also kind of just come as far as I've wanted to with cross. Like I did all four of the main cross transition, Nakayama, uh, Zarian, Pineda, and Butterfly. I've done all four of those. So I just feel like it's very painful for me. I've put a lot of work into it and it's just not something I want to spend my time doing anymore. And it's also kind of a similar reason why I mentioned that Q&A, why I'm not training one on planche anymore. Because again, like I just didn't like doing it and it freaked hurt but yeah guys anyway those are those sets we just got to get back into the super native maltese grind and just train everything pain-free and now we are moving into some front lever combos so i'm going to show you guys how i warm up straight arm touch with a band let's go okay everybody so i think i've demoed this with straight arm touch before with a band basically right the band is just going around here and you're going to place your wrists on top of the band with your false grip so you guys will see what it looks like so placing the band here got my false grip. You want it nice and tight because it's going to add a little bit more assistance. I mean, you could wear it looser if you want to make it harder, but if you're doing this just to warm up or just holding it for time, I recommend having it as tight as possible. So I'm going to try to get this pretty tight and hold this straight on touch for five seconds before we get into the sets. Here we go. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. I think that was five seconds. I'm really bad at counting when I'm actually doing statics, but that was long enough. I think what I'm actually going to do now is attempt a band assisted Caruso because I've been working on the bar Caruso now and it's really, really hard, but I think maybe if I practice the band a couple times, I'll be able to do it hopefully today, you never know. Okay guys, so went for a couple straight arm touch sets there. Not the strongest day, so what I'm gonna do now is move on to just straight arm touch holds with a band. And that's the other thing I kinda want to tell you guys. If your first two attempts don't feel good, then that's when you can just stop right there and just do bands or something else. Because like, if it doesn't happen on the first try, that could just be your body's not fully warmed up and ready. But if you're failing like two times in a row, that's probably a sign that that skill's not really that strong today so you should take it a little easier with that skill or just do something else so straight arm touch not feeling very good today so i'm going to practice uh some band holds with it with the lightest band i have and i did i will put in those crusoe attempts <laughs> in the video not very good at all i really got to work on that my my attempts are basically just like wide grip front leaf <laughs> raises it's not very good so i need to keep practicing that and i will but yes band sat holds let's get it guys Okay guys, so those are the band sat holds. Honestly, just not a very good day for that. I did one with the absolute lightest band, but then I bumped it up a band for the next two and it still wasn't that good. I've just been doing sat a lot, so it wasn't that good. But anyway, I'm now kind of at the end. And like I said, I'm just gonna focus on the band Super Data Maltese. I still did some other sets as well, but this is really just a band showcase. So I don't wanna show everything that happens in between that. But anyway, it's the end now. And I'm focusing on, like I said, what I really wanted to work on, which was band supinated Maltese. And the thing is, when I'm doing this band stuff at the end, with um, training sacks with bands, I try to pick a band where I can hold for a long time and also do a lot of reps if I'm doing a dynamic skill like planche push-ups or something. So the band is actually a little bit on the heavier side, but it's okay because I'm going to do very long holds or pretty long holds 
with this band. So I'm gonna show you guys what's up with that. Let's go. Okay guys, here I am for the first band assisted supinated hold. Uh, like I said, the band here is pretty heavy, so I'm going for three to five seconds. I'm three to seven seconds. I know it's kind of a big range, but you guys know I'm very bad at counting when I'm doing these holds, even when it's a uh, kind of light assistance with the band. Uh, so I'm only going to show you guys one set, but I'm going to, going to do four sets. And then after that, I will do the assisted supinated planche push-ups. Uh, but you guys will just see the push-ups right next just because I don't think in a video like this, it's really beneficial to see all the sets. So, okay, yeah, like I said, three to five seconds. Let's go and uh yeah here we go focusing on form here of course so let's get it okay guys so i'm pretty fatigued so i actually after the maltese stuff i pumped up the band to the absolute maximum heaviest one so these are going to be pretty freaking easy push-ups but here's the thing like i mentioned with the bands at the end, it for me, it's about doing a lot of sets and a lot of reps rather than trying to do singles of something pretty tough. So uh, I'm completely fine doing it with this heavy band because it's a good way for me to get a lot of reps in and practice that way. So I'm gonna do that and then I will end off today's video. Let's go. Like I said, guys, a little fatigues. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, guys, a little fatigues. We just had a four there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you thought it was helpful, please like the video, comment, share it with your friends, all that good stuff. Hit me with a subscribe, no jutsu, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.